Kosher skincare is bullshit. I know it's a spicy title, but it's not just me. I am here with a friend, Bacheva. She is known as Cynical Duchess on YouTube. You do style and you literally reject the trends, but you also just happen to be an Orthodox Jew. You keep kosher, correct? I do. Can you tell us about what it means to keep kosher? And then we're gonna talk about what it means to have kosher skincare and yes. why it's bullshit. I'm not disrespecting anyone by saying no, it's because okay. it is BS. Okay, educate us. Tell us what does it mean to keep kosher? Yes, call me professor. In this jacket, yes, actually. Oh my god, yeah, I know. I'm... Kosher is literally just a dietary restriction. Like, similar to halal, there are just certain things that we can and can't eat, so we don't mix meat and milk together. Mm. There are certain animals that we don't consume, like shellfish or pig. And usually when we slaughter animals, we have to do it in a way that, like, on their painters, that they don't feel anything when they die. So, like, I did ask my rabbi about this, like, thing because like you were asking me some questions yeah. and it got me thinking like is there such a thing as kosher skincare because like wait like you're saying that there's a kosher symbol on here yeah so let me tell you about this this is a brand called Arbon. i okay. do not like or respect the brand okay but on their website and on some of their products okay. it literally says kosher okay and it's not the kosher symbol that you see on foods there uh -huh. are certain symbols on foods that yeah. actually show and if it's certified kosher but it's a different symbol it's like a kosher symbol that i've never seen before but look it says yeah right here it's uh certified kosher and it's on the products too yeah it's just it's so funny to me because like the ou is actually like one of the most respected like kosher symbols you have to be careful sometimes because sometimes people just put yes. it on like you know they just like take kosher symbols and they put it on the package and like there have been times when we've had to like recall things I remember that there was like this sweet potato like Korean glass noodles that I really wanted to try and it had a kosher symbol and then later on it came out that the company just like put it on the packaging so that happens with cruelty free stuff as well sometimes oh, really? some brands will just take the logo that they find on Google images and put it on and that's why it's like you have to be a little bit careful what does it mean to have kosher skincare and does it actually matter to Jews right okay so like I did ask my rabbi about yeah. this because I was like curious after you asked me I'm like wait do I actually need to like care about kosher in my skincare there's actually like snail mucus like products yes that you know like I've like tried before and I was like oh no like was it like an issue that I might have put some on my face or whatever can you explain that because why are snails not kosher okay. because snails are one of the animals that we don't eat so I can't try like escargot or anything <laughs> like that so I asked my rabbi my rabbi came back to me and he was like as long as you're not eating the snail mucus essence I see no problem in putting it on your face but Bacheva, between you and me that sounds a little bit yucky don't you think <laughs> <laughs> that was my rabbi's response. So like essentially kosher is literally just for like consuming inside your mouth because like otherwise like anything would te could technically not be kosher. Like your shampoo, mm. the clothing that you wear or whatever. Like so yeah, it's literally just for like eating. So if you're seeing a kosher symbol on your packaging, like suckers, I guess. Yeah, like, <laughs> like don't spend more money on it just because it's kosher because it doesn't actually mean anything religiously. I have literally a Dead Sea mud mask right here. It's from Israel and it literally Ooh. says as, you know, not tested on animals, but this is literally Dead Sea mud mask. It says nothing about being kosher. But nope. it's like, this is actually from Israel. Yeah, I, I can feel and the mud. And it's not <laughs> kosher, but it's not, it's not like kosher. Yeah. But then you have this product that's like from America or where are they even from? I don't even know where they make this, but you have Arbon over here. Yeah. Who says that they have their Arbon USA gluten-free, globally sourced, vegan, cruelty-free, <laughs> kosher product. And they're claiming that this is kosher when things from Israel that don't even claim that. Yeah. Right, that's actually really funny. I thought it was hilarious. And I have another question specifically about more medical skincare treatments. Cool. For example, there are what are called neuromodulators like Botox or Xeomin that may have animal derivatives in them mm -hmm. that can be injected into the face. Yeah. Or there are treatments like the PRP, the plasma rich platelet facial. Yeah. It's the vampire facial where they draw blood put it in a centrifuge and inject it basically back into the skin, the plasma. For those who keep kosher, you don't consume blood. Right. But how does that work if it's being injected into the skin or for a medical emergency, like a blood transfusion? Yeah, so that's totally okay because like for one, it's just like for medical purposes. Even skin treatments are considered mm. medical purposes. That's crazy. And also you're not ingesting it. You're not mm. eating it. You're literally just infusing it into the skin. And that's mm. like, I mean, think of like getting any shot or like, you know, putting anything into your skin. Botox is fine. You're not eating it. You're just like putting it into your face. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no 
no issue with that. There's no Whoa. kosher issue with that. You know, I love that you bring that up because I, years ago, did a halal skincare routine. Mm -hmm. And for those who are halal, it's my understanding that they don't consume alcohol. Mm -hmm. And when I did this skincare routine, a couple of people had asked for it and I did like an alcohol-free skincare routine. And what was so mm -hmm. funny is that people were saying, if you're not ingesting it, it doesn't matter. Right. And it's so interesting because it's very similar. It's like yeah. with those who keep kosher, if you're not ingesting it, it doesn't matter. Moral of the story is, number one, if you have questions or if you keep kosher, probably ask your rabbi, right? Yeah. Speak to them. And then number two, kosher skincare, is it bull Is it not? Like, you tell me. No, it totally is. Like, I'm sorry. As I said, suckers. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, if especially if the brand is not created by somebody who practices Judaism or who, yeah. you know, is contributing to the community, like, it's probably nice that they're trying to consider all people, but otherwise it's just a marketing claim. It is. No, I feel like some people have, like, the idea that, like, kosher is, like, healthier, which, like, uh, I mean, you can have healthy kosher food, but really it's just, like, not mixing meat and milk. Yeah. So, like, I feel like a lot of brands sometimes put it on there so that to make them seem as if, you know, like, you, you'll go into, like, Whole Foods and it's, like, vegan, cruelty-free, kosher. kosher. And you're, like, you know, it, it looks nice on your packaging, yeah. sir. But you know what? No, no, no. When it comes to food, thank you, sir, <laughs> lord, dear, because I can actually eat it. Yeah. But, like, yeah, when it comes to skincare, yeah. <laughs> I love that we got the inside scoop. Again, for those who are curious, now you know. Always remember to be beautiful both inside and out and embrace your misfit. Go check out her channel. Yes, please do. Please, Go check out please. her channel for style, for inspiration, <laughs> for the life stories of other people. And you, for some coming of age vlogs. And some coming me. of age vlogs. So like I'm coming out with a video. It's like the first time that I'm making like this like coming of age like film about myself and it's lost, alone, and broken my 20s. So if you're lost, alone, and broken in your 20s, come relate with me. Amazing. I will make sure that her channel is linked below. We also built her a skincare routine that is not kosher. <laughs> that means nothing. Nope. And, it's uh, not kosher. Yeah. We will see you in those videos and on the internet. Love you guys. Bye.